again. So we're at it again. Um, we're doing a couple of wee we'll video here. It's not going to be too long. I'm making some panels for our local barbers, and I thought I would uh, kind of video the process. Now I didn't. I lost some footage because well, I didn't lose it. I just didn't do it because uh, I was short in time. My van suspension yesterday decided to give in, so I panicked and I was like, ah, let's get to the workshop and make stuff. Didn't manage to do any video, and so I've lost a little bit of time with the well, footage with that anyway. These are the panels that are going to be in the barbers. So when you sit down and get a haircut, these are going to be right along the front, um, underneath the mirrors, and there's a little one at the window as well, and there's a few shelves going in. So, yeah. There's four in total. Go along the, the, the front wall. Uh, and like I say, one at the, the side. Um, so the process so far, which I ha this is what I missed yesterday in the last couple of days, was making the frames. So obviously uh, these are all 3 by 2s that came out of, I think it was a shed, I think. Um, so I put a plywood back in, which I rebated with the... Uh, the router, so I put a rebate 18mm down or 19mm down just so it's below the surface. Put a bit of 18mm ply in, which gives me a flat surface to then uh, put the chevron style on. Uh, I'm using various timbers, ply, pallet wood, old uh, fence panels, etc. It's whatever I've got lying about, but, but you know, that suits this kind of style of stuff. I don't want them the same thickness. I did denail the pallets, put them through the thickness, sir, but I didn't, you know, I didn't go metal trying to get them all the same thickness. Um, because I mean, I'm going to sand them down, they're supposed to look rustic, they're supposed to look a bit gnarly and stuff. So I'm not going to, once I wax these, you'll see what I mean, they're not supposed to look smooth. Um, so yeah, uh, and obviously I cut them to length. Pinned them in, marked the centres, so I've got my centre line. I'm going to do this one now on time lapse so you guys can see. So, yeah, hope you enjoy the video. Let's do it. Get the tunes on first. <laughs>
these boards I want to use for the window don't fit on the 45 unless I reduce the size of the panel which is I don't think that'll look very good I think that means I need to build a frame for that panel I want that I want the slim line I want the the window um, board to be uh, quite slim line um, in terms of when you look at it through the window or when you're sitting down in the chairs or whatever I want it to be quite um, thin I mean, so yeah I think I'm just going to go for this not my first choice because it's a pain so I forgot to press play on the whole process got back from my lunch and uh, just forgot so um, I had to double the ply up underneath this. I was planning just to do 12 millimeter, millimeter ply, but then I had to double it up um, to get a trim on the side. Because if you imagine in the shop, you walk in, this is the window here, then this side, and uh, that, that's, that side will be shown in the barbers itself. So obviously, I decided to go for uh, this pattern, parquet kind of pattern. Um, so all I need to do now is sand everything, and everything should be ready for waxing. So yeah, sanding.
the two um, benches that I sent to the barbers before, uh, a couple of months back, were finished in the, the dark oak, Brewax dark oak. So they wanted to match in, so that's what I've done. I've done. Um, I want to take this opportunity to say thanks to everyone that sent me stickers so far. My little wall's coming along nicely. I've got a few more there that's been happening. Jake's Woodworks, Vagabond Woodworks, The Dust in My Shop, Orchard Hill. There's a few that sent in, which is, I appreciate that very much. If I'm not sent back yet, let me know please, let me know in the comments because uh, I can't keep track of all that. Um, I've done as many as I could when I first started <laughs> and then just lost track. So if you haven't received one yet, let me know and I'll send one and I'll leave my address in the link below uh, in the comments. Description below, should I say? Um, also thinking about doing like a shout out kind of Q and A. So um, if you guys want to uh, get involved in that, you want to ask me any questions, whether it be about the workshop, uh, myself, the things that I do, you know, the, the process I go through, where I get my timber, how I get my timber, de it, you know. Um, you know, stuff like that, you know, just crap, crap, if you want to know crap, let me know and I'm more than happy to tell you. Uh, and I'm more than happy, like I said, to sit there, I think I might do a video, maybe a live stream maybe, that'd be cool. Maybe do a live stream one day. So I'm done for the day and uh, I'm going to continue tomorrow, I'll make more video tomorrow and then obviously, uh, I'll shoot obviously the end of the process. Might just do a part one and two in fact. Just to split it up, just to get more videos out. I don't know. I'll decide tonight. So yeah, if uh, if I do part one and two, I'll see you in the next video. If not, keep watching, and you'll see the rest of this one. Obviously. Right, I'm off. Home. Beer. Friday. Beer. <laughs>